In this video, I show you how to add links to your YouTube channel art and add that all important subscriber button. Coming up. Hi everyone, my name is Joe and on this channel I give you tutorials and guides on computers and programming. Today I am showing you how to add links on your YouTube channel banner or channel art. This video is part of a series of how to set up your YouTube channel from scratch. So if you're interested in that, there is a full playlist in the top right hand corner now. I highly recommend watching the whole playlist, especially if you're just starting out on YouTube. Now, before we go ahead and make the channel art links, there are some things to be aware of. The first one is that on a desktop computer, there are five links that will display in the bottom right of the channel art. This is only on a desktop computer and they're displayed differently on mobile devices. Even though there's a limit on the channel art icons, there isn't a limit on the amount of links you can make. They will just be displayed in a different location. So if you're not on a desktop and you're on some kind of mobile device, the only place you will find these links is in the About tab on your home channel page. On desktops, the very first link is displayed in a slightly different way to the other five that you can have on the channel art. So basically, it's just worth noting that there are going to be differences from mobile to desktop devices, and we want to cater for every device that we can. So if you're only using a mobile device yourself, just consider people that are using desktops um, because they will see a slightly different view to you and that can make all the difference, especially if you are looking to accommodate everybody and try and get the most out of your YouTube channel. So bearing all that information in mind, let's start making those links now. And the first thing we need to do is go up to your icon up here and go onto your channel. Now, as your channel loads, it's likely that you're going to be looking at it as a subscriber. We need to change that. So first of all, click on customize channel here. And then you should see this view come up. If you don't, then look over to where your subscribe button is. And there's a little cog just here. Click onto the cog. And then select this to be turned on. OK, so make sure that's on and click save. We want to be able to customize our layout. Now that that's turned on, you'll have two options. You can hover over your um, banner up here and click on the edit icon here and then edit links. Or you can go to the about uh, tab here and the links button is here. So you've got the two options and you basically get to the same page. Now, if I just very quickly show you an example of how the links will look. So on a desktop computer, you'll see the first five links up here. And the very first one has the full wording of whatever you put in. And the others just have their logo icons. So again, just bear that in mind. And if you're on a mobile device, you won't see this at all on the channel art. It's all in the About tab, which is here. So you see the links here. And again, it will display slightly differently on a uh, mobile device. It's just all in one long line. So going back over to our channel, First of all, click on the links button and you get the option to customize however many links you want displayed. So when you look on the example that I've got up here, you've got five links. You can make that less. You can have none displayed if you wanted to. Um, most people do have five, but it's entirely up to you. It might not work for your channel. You might not have five links that you need. Um, you might only have two or one. So you can select as many as you want. Now it's fairly self-explanatory. The first link we want to add, to click on the add button. And I'm just gonna take you back over once more. The first link is always this one here. So it will say exactly what we've got in the link title. So you can put whatever you want on this in this title here. And the first link on this page will display exactly what you put here. The other links, two, three, four, and five, will not display the wording unless you hover over them. And I'm gonna put subscribe. I'm gonna leave the URL blank for now because I'm gonna show you guys at the end of this video how to make a subscribe button. So I'm gonna just pass over that for now, but we will be coming back to that bit in a few minutes. So I'm gonna make the other links. Now I've got Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram open here. So I'm gonna make three more links and 
just feel that just feel that out now and all I'm doing here is making sure that I'm on my home page of each social media site and then copying and pasting the links in okay so as you can see we're literally just getting the URL from whichever place you want and pasting it in to this location okay so now we've got the four things in here we've got up to five links that we can have so I'm just going to add in my website as well okay so now we've got everything filled out that we're going to see on the channel art we can add more in and that's absolutely fine I'll probably be adding more in later but the first five are really the important ones um, even if you're just using a mobile device and a lot of people do use mobile devices they won't really see these but for the desktop users it's really worth setting this up in um, a similar way to this it doesn't have to be exactly the same but I would really recommend having a subscribe button as your number one and then social media as two three and four and possibly five or if you've got another link like I've got my website then have that as the last link that will display properly so now the interesting part of making the subscribe button the first thing you need to do is open up a new tab and go to YouTube and your channel now it's important you don't lose the other tab so go to your channel here and you need to select everything up to the channel name so you may or may not be aware but this is going to be your channel name and where the question mark is you can ignore that bit so we want to copy that I've just pushed control C to copy it you can also right click and copy and then go back to your links tab and go paste now that will take you to directly to your channel which is great but we actually want it to automatically subscribe so what we have to do is add in a special piece of code which I will link into the description for you as well so you can copy and paste this and it's question mark sub underscore confirmation equals one so that's basically saying subscribe yes okay and that will when you click it it will give you the option to subscribe instantly to the channel which is what we want to do so I'm going to click on done and you can see that they instantly kind of populate through um, Twitter again doesn't have this icon for some reason that's the same on my other um, channel I don't know why that happens but you'll probably get the same if you don't then let me know um, if you find a way of solving that and now we can just go back to our channel and if we refresh the page we've got the four or five icons up here and the first one subscribe so if we just click that we'll try it out confirmation counts channel subscription yeah you want to subscribe I'll click subscribe for me it says you can't subscribe to yourself but for everybody else that would work perfectly and just to demonstrate if we add some more links in here then as we add the links in they display in the link section but if you, you refresh the page no extra links are being shown here only the first five will ever be seen okay and if I just flick you over to the app here as well then you can see that if I go to my channel learn and my channel then you don't see any icons in the bottom right hand corner there are no links and that's because we're on the mobile device if you hover over to videos channels and about you see all of the links down there in the same order as they first appeared now I'm not sure about you but I have never looked at an about page on a mobile device um, however I do look at the channel art on some of the channel pages so hopefully you can kind of understand and see where I'm coming from when I say that on a mobile device it's probably not going to be too productive but bearing desktop users in mind which is still about 40 percent of the YouTube views it's well worth doing and you know you might get a couple of extra subscribes you're definitely going to get some extra social media um, interactions 
and whatever other icons that you decide to put on your first five will definitely be worthwhile. Now I hope that's helped you guys. If you have any comments, please leave them down in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Other than that, please thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks very much for watching.